Hi guys, I'm back out here in my shop this morning. I uh, got my shop dog Rocky here. And we're out here going to work on, uh, continue working on this uh, baby cradle that I started uh, the other day. Um, uh, it's the day after Christmas, so I hope everyone had a Merry, uh, Merry Christmas. Um, anyway, I've got some things I'm going to try to get glued up. I'd like to try to get this finished assembled today uh, so that I can uh, get it stained. I did decide, uh, if you watch the other video, I was trying to decide how I was going to do the little spindles and I decided just to purchase some. So I got these from, uh, if I can remember the name of this place, uh, Craftsman, CraftParts.com I guess, out of Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, anyway, I got a bag of these spindles that are going to work out nice. Uh, these are like birch, I think, and I've also got my little finials here. So now, as you look, I see I've got my rails cut here. I've got these all made with my little holes for my spindles. And you'll notice I only had enough cherry to do three rails. You know, these are a little bit smaller than the. These are the bottom, and these are the top, I think. So what I decided to do is, since I'm going to have to stain this anyway because of the uh, the birch, the finials, and the uh, spandles. I figured I'd just go ahead and use some poplar that, poplar that I had. So I'm going to use that for the uh, top rail, cherry for the bottom rail, and everything else is cherry. Got my uh, all my legs, the leg half sanded up and ready to go. Uh, I'm going to try to get the, the end pieces and all that glued up today, as well as the uh, rocking part. I don't think you can see these in this shot, but I've got these here. That uh, so all this stuff I've got to get glued up and make sure that it all fits together properly. Uh, so that's that's my goal today to try to get all that done. So without further ado, let's get let's get started. Okay, finally got the baby crib all assembled. I've still got a few little odds and ends to do. I still haven't glued on these uh, pineals yet, so I've got to get those glued in. Uh, got the plywood bottom in it. Uh, beveled the edges so that it will uh, fit in there nice and snug, and it can be removed if it uh, needs to be taken out or maybe possibly replaced or something. Uh, the thing rocks very nice, as you saw from the intro. Uh, the thing will rock for uh, about two minutes when you run it all the way over and just let it go. It rocks for about two minutes before it stops. Uh, so came out pretty well. There's a few little odds and ends that I wasn't real happy with, but since this was my first time building a baby cradle, I thought that ah, came out pretty good, y'all, considering that. So uh, there are some things, though. I know in the uh, in the link. In the description of the, the first video I did, I put the uh, I put a link to the to these plans that I because I got these off the internet and I did change some things and I actually found some things that were incorrect as far as dimensions and it uh, caused me a little bit of a problem not not too bad so I probably will uh, go ahead and model this thing up the rest of the way in SolidWorks. Um, and put it together as, as I built it and then offer those plans on my website as well as the, the link to these because I mean these were good good plans I did, did change a few things uh, about the way it was made to make it what I thought was a little easier uh, but anyway it came out pretty good uh, let me try to spin this thing around here if I can maybe you can get a, uh, a shot on the end there there we go so I put this, uh, used my CNC router to put this little teddy bear engraving on each end and I don't know how well it's going to show up just yet because it's still got to be stained but I'm sure once it's stained that'll really uh, bring that engraving out. 
So it's basically the assembly's done. What I've got left to do now is a whole bunch of sanding and I've got to get some glue scraped off and you know just get it prepped for the finish. Uh, and I'll probably shoot another video uh, when I get it all uh, when I get it all finished and before I give it away here. But uh, anyway, this is probably going to be my last video for 2013. Uh, I hope uh, hope y'all had a Merry Christmas and also hope y'all have a very happy and prosperous uh, 2014. 2013 was a pretty good year for me. I can't complain at all. Uh, had a bunch of new subscribers uh, on my YouTube channel. Even had Richard Petty, that's right, Richard Petty, the king of NASCAR, subscribe to my channel. No wait, I'm just kidding. It was a Richard Petty though. Uh, a guy named Richard Petty subscribed to my channel and when I got the notification, I'm thinking, all right, you know, this rocks. I got Richard Petty, king of NASCAR, but then I looked and it was another Richard Petty. So Richard, if you're watching, uh, you got my heart pumping there for a while. Uh, but anyway, I hope everybody has a nice uh, and a safe, happy new year, and uh, we'll, we'll see you next year. If you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, uh, please do. If you like the videos you're seeing, please hit a like. I appreciate those. And thanks again to all my new subscribers. So again, we'll, we'll see you next year.